For now on a new format on my YouTube site, I've been asked by something, somebody who means a lot to me, and I was taught to never disrespect an older female widow to do some videos without language, so I'm going to. But I'm going to also do them with language. This is one with language. Be advised. The mayor of a village that was emptied of its residents following the accident at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is ready to start again. Yuko Endo is the leader of Kawauchi, which is located in the evacuation zone around the damaged facility. He's telling his citizens to get ready to come home. That proves! Do they give a fuck about their own people? Fuck! No, they hate their own people. They hate themselves. Japan's central government lifted its entry ban restrictions on three municipalities within the 20-kilometer evacuation zone effective this month. The Fukushima fucking lying creepy motherfuckers that they are in Japan, the Japanese lying creepy fucking pieces of shit who are playing fucking Russian roulette with the entire fucking world can go fuck themselves, every fucking one of them. Part of Kawauchi village is outside the no-go area. Still, almost all of its approximately 3,000 residents fled after the Fukushima accident. About 2,700 or 90 percent haven't returned. They're worried about radiation contamination and about getting work. Why? Because the radical far-right fucking evil fucking mentally ill stupid dumbed-down ignorant mother fucking teabagger Republican pieces of shit that you fuckers are. Mayor Endo and other people who work for Kawauchi are trying to show they're ready to welcome citizens back. They held a ceremony Monday in the old village office. You evil lying motherfuckers over there, TEPCO, the Japanese government and the fucking media, you make me fucking sick. The mayor formally appointed employees to their new positions. The village government has had to operate outside the evacuation zone until recently. Everything we do is for our citizens. Who the fuck do you think you are? We can move forward step by step to rebuild our village so that it returns to what it was. Well, you know what, fuck him, Guta? Now that they're testing 37 times for fucking cesium levels in the fucking freshwater trout in Japan, why don't you go over there and put up a fucking picture of people fishing, you phony fucking piece of shit? Mayor Endo plans to build homes in parts of Kawauchi that have, made, that have been determined safe. How creepy has the fucking media become? How creepy has the mainstream media become? The village is pressing ahead with the contamination work and job creation to be ready for the residents' return. Fake, creepy motherfuckers just like the rest of these hairspray pieces of shit. Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda says he will place top priority on safety in deciding whether to restart two idled nuclear reactors in western Japan. The Fukushima fucking lying creepy motherfuckers that they are in Japan. The Japanese lying creepy fucking pieces of shit. The two reactors at the OE nuclear power installation in Fukui Prefecture are currently offline for a scheduled safety inspection. Most of the nuclear reactors in Japan have been suspended for safety checks since last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi. This has raised concern over possible power shortages. Noda told an upper house committee that meeting the country's power needs should not come before safety. You already took all our fucking money, you phony, fake fucking pieces of shit, by letting these banksters off the fucking hook, white collar crime legal. Now you want to fucking take what's left from us. He said the opinion of local residents will be taken into account before the decision is made on restarting the reactors. The Japanese government has set stricter standards for permissible levels of radioactive cesium in food products. The authorities want to further emphasize safety. Local governments have begun checking food products based on the new standards. Screening started Monday throughout the country after the new rules came into effect on the previous day. The government is calling on 17 of Japan's 47 prefectures, including Fukushima, to conduct periodic checks of radiation levels in food products. Other local governments are carrying out safety checks on their own initiative. The health ministry says four prefectures have reported the results of their inspections. None of the products tested, exce tested exceeded the new limits. 
Under the stricter rules, common food products such as rice and vegetables containing up to 100 becquerels of cesium per kilogram can be sold. Baby food and milk with up to 50 becquerels can be offered to the public. And drinking water must not show readings above 10 becquerels. The central and local governments will not allow food exceeding the permissible levels to go on the market. An NHK survey shows 21 prefectures of Japan have stepped up screening measures to meet the tighter standards. They're doing so by such means as introducing additional checking devices. Because no one but its leader can make important decisions. Let's talk about the fish markets of Japan. I have a very close friend who I went to college with, who I don't know how she's alive. Brilliant, genius. She called me two days ago and says, Kevin, the fish markets, there's documentaries been Nobody is buying fish from Japan. Nobody. They're buying anything they can get their hands on. They're not buying, they're not drinking their own water. They're importing all their water. They're importing all water. Where's the fish that's being caught in the Pacific off the coast of Japan or the inland trout, which tested 37 fucking times? Not, oh, it's slightly over the government limits. Twice the government limits. Oh my God, that's all. 37 fucking times by the mainstream media, credible fucking media, fucking media that's been confirmed over there. The Pacific coast of northeast Japan is famous for its seafood, including sea urchin and wakame seaweed. That changed an instant when last year's massive tsunami battered the region. Slowly but surely, life is returning to these fertile waters. Yasuaki Kagi has been charting the changes to the underwater environment off the coast of Iwate Prefecture over the past year. Kagi is a professional photographer who specializes in marine life. Since the tsunami, he has visited here several times. His first dive was just three weeks after the disaster. Kagi's pictures tell the story. An entire house swept out to sea, with clothes still visible in the closet. Wreckage scattered across the seabed. And no trace of the fertile fishing grounds. I was expecting to see plenty of underwater life. That was the first time I've ever come across a seabed so devoid of life. Throughout that first dive, Kagi came across only one fish. It was a tiny lump sucker, just five millimeters long. There it was, right in the middle of this lifeless ocean. It made me realize that living creatures could return here. I really wanted everyone to see it. By last December, Kagi could see a definite change. There were sea urchins growing on this wrecked car. He saw tide pool gunnels, greenlings, sculpins. In all, he spotted more than 10 species of fish. By January, it was clear that new life was emerging in these waters. Kagi saw a sculpin hovering over some rocks protecting its red eggs. He was now confident that the sea was returning to its former richness. The boat Kagi has been using for his dives is provided free of charge by the local fisheries cooperative. He has built up a strong rapport with the local people. <laughs> <laughs> the fishermen are overjoyed to see that their fishing grounds are starting to recover. It's been a real surprise to see in the photographs how well underwater life is recovering from the disaster. I'm more optimistic about the future. In February, Kagi gave a presentation for people living in the area to show them some of his recent photos, including the sculpin with its eggs. It made me happy to know fish are returning to these waters, even after the tsunami. 
His photos show us how resilient life is in the ocean. They've also inspired us and will help us get over the stress and trauma from the disaster. I want as many people as possible in Iwate to see my photos so they can understand how much life in the sea is recovering. I'm going to carry on taking photographs here. And Kagi hopes that magazines will publish his underwater photos so that people around Japan and the rest of the world can see how the Tohoku coast is recovering. They're pulling the plug on food inspection. The only people in the world that will fucking touch Japanese fish with a 10 foot pole, they're doing documentaries. She says, You go into the fish markets where they're there, you used to be packed without, there's nobody there. Japan isn't even eating their own fish. They're importing fish from here in the United States. They're importing fish from everywhere they get there. They're drinking water. They won't even drink their own water.